No. So, uh, Frank, we've known you for a while, and you uh, you live in California now. You used to sleep on rooftops here in New York. Yep. Yep. When was that? Like four or five four years, years ago? ago? Five years ago, yep. And you, that was not your dream, or were you enjoying it, or? <laughs> no, I enjoyed that heavily. But you always knew you wanted to live in the wild? I suppose so. That was a dream, for sure. Now you live in Northern California, and you have your own place that you built. Did you build it by yourself? No, no. Nope. You built it with several I people? I could say that, but yeah, I built it with a lot of people. And it's a pretty legitimate, like... It's not legit yet. We still have all this permitting bullshit to go through. The you county is, like, stopping us from doing and were you saying that your look is influenced by the new Mad Max movie? I wouldn't say it's influenced. I yeah, mate, no. What did you call it? What'd you call the look? World War Four. And tell <laughs> to give me your reason why World you War call it World War Four is like a high technological existence where people live in the woods. I don't know. I don't Show know. Show me the sides again. Your hair, nice. Tribal. This, this is all from cameras, from a digital camera. Wait, what are you telling me? These are this pieces from a camera? From, yeah, that's from a digital camera. That's inside your camera, probably. That bit, and then when you do the autofocus, there's a little thing that... Nice. Yeah. You want to put them on for me? Oh yeah. This definitely fits in with the with the look you're describing. Do you write? Do you draw? I write a little bit. Mostly I go hiking. You hike a lot. I hike a lot. Uh, and you're this is is it like a dream come true or it sounds like I'm talking to you and you actually earlier you sounded like you're getting a little bored of it or the, or no, there the you need people, to get away. The people are bothering me a little bit, but I feel like I'm it's a challenge. I feel like I'm growing as a person. All right. What on a vision quest? Do you have to deal with a lot of assholes? Like are they I jerks have to deal or with you're people just bored? Being stupidly selfish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And everyone there is like. But, most people are under like 25. There's a couple people older than that. How old are you? 29. Okay. Do you feel like you're, you know, 29 is pretty consistently a uh, scary age to be at for most women and men. Saturn return. Because when you hit 30, you start thinking, oh, I'm an adult now, I can't have fun anymore, and all that shit. I'm trying to avoid the bullshit. I'm trying not to yeah, have see a, a midlife crisis. A lot, a lot of it makes a difference if you are happy with where you're at. If you're happy with where you're at, none of that shit matters, but it depends. Are you happy with where you're at? I am, but I'm, this year's been, I've been going through a tough time, actually. Really? Very, like, self-questioning time. Like, should I ask what it's about? I don't really know what it's about, but I've felt like Religion, awkward. or no, just you're, where you... I've felt like awkward and wondering, like... I haven't felt like up to my truth. Lonely? Are you lonely? No, no. Are you in love with someone you can't have? No. That's no. been your problem in the past. That's you, my problem. You fall in love with somebody who's unobtainable. Yeah, that's my And usually problem. they're the last person you should be in love with. They like have a habit they're or they're okay. homeless. Or they're just a bitch, yeah, I don't know. No, and I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to figure it out. But I think it has to do with the Saturn returns, you know. Every 27, 29 years or Saturn returns. The planet thing. Yeah, astrology, but it does link up really well with the age thing. Yeah, and, uh, and you flew here, yep. and you ate out of the garbage cans inside the airport. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You yeah. saved some big money. And what did you? Do you remember what you ate out of the garbage cans yeah, at the pizza. airport? Yeah, lots of pizza. Lots of pizza. Like just half-eaten pizza, and you no, eat no, the crust. No, no. People bought a whole whole pizzas and ate one slice of pizza, and they left the rest of the pizza. It's very common in airports that people leave all their food outside of salad. Do you ever get sick eating out of garbage never, cans? Never. 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 Do but you ever? The airport garbage cans are the cleanest garbage cans on the face of the earth, probably. And no one bothered you. Said this looks. Uh, re no one, see something. No say one something. It. it wasn't considered suspicious somehow. I felt suspicious, but no one reported me. <laughs> that is so funny. So the clouds are coming in, and I just had a prayer said for me that if uh, it doesn't rain. Might be the miracle I've been looking for to finally become a believer, but already the rain is being speckled against my head. And there's lightning I just got on going to that subway station right over there. I'll see you around. Be careful. What's that? Well, it's sort of this. Not for long. It's just now it's going to start. I got that. Ah. Oh. 
Ganga. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Maddie, I forget how brave you are sometimes. Oh, yeah.